Hey guys, Anthony here for another video, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and quick overview of the Cisco SG110D-08 uh, Gigabit Desktop Switch. Now, this is an unmanaged switch, so there's no software to configure, it just basically plug and uh, play. And I got this for my home network because currently I have my Mac, uh, which has a gigabit ethernet card and my two synologies which each of them have two gigabit ports connected to an orbi router the issue is with the orbi router there's only four ports so right now i'm using only one port from each of the synologies uh, i can't connect or uh, or two ports to the same switch on the synology i mean sorry on the orbi because there's only four one for the mac one for each Synology, that's three, and then have one extra port, but it's useless since I need two more. So that's why I got this Gigabit desktop switch. Now, I was gonna get a Netgear because you can get a Gigabit, a eight port uh, Netgear Gigabit switch, I think for around 50 bucks. This is around 84, $85. I'll drop the link below, guy off of Amazon. But um, I always like Cisco products. Uh, I used to actually, you know, do a bunch of work for Cisco, you know, for Cisco when I was, um, you know, a IT. I was an IT like years ago. So all the enter enterprise networks, basically, at least you know, a few years ago, were using Cisco. I'm not sure what they're using now, but Cisco is a great company for ne uh, network equipment. And this is actually my first Cisco device that I personally own. And for 85 bucks, I think it's good. You know, this is supposedly metal, not some cheap plastic. And it is a little bit more expensive than Netgear or a D-Link switch for the same specs. But, uh, you know, from my experience with Cisco, their products are solid. You, p you pay the extra for that. Now, Cisco also owns Linksys, which is a s it's more for like home, I want to say home use, personal use. And this Cisco brand is more for like small business, maybe a small home office. And this one is definitely great for a small home office or even a small business. So I'm going to give it a shot. Let you guys know what I think in the comments below. Maybe I'll do a, a follow video. But here it is. It just came from Amazon a few days ago. And you can see this is where it fits in your network. They kind of show you, you know, you got your, your, um, internet you got your router and then you have your switch and you can add a bunch of different switches and you just you know daisy chain a bunch of them and then you connect it to your workstation IP phone a NAS like a Synology video camera and all these ports are gigabit Ethernet so the Synologies will only have gigabit Ethernet ports right now at least the uh, DS918 and the DS1019 and I believe Synology just came out with the 920 and that also only has gigabit now if you guys want to be you know up on the bleeding edge you can also try get a 10 gigabit switch but those are super expensive probably not reliable right now I won't recommend it for a small business one gigabit is probably enough and um, yeah and also as part of the upgrade for the network I have at home, I also got some Cat7 cables, again, also from Amazon. And these are the flat ones. So I think they're about like seven bucks each. I'll drop the link below. But um, yeah, let's open it up so you guys can see what's inside. Just do that really quick. And, oh, here it is. Here's the opening for it. So definitely need an unboxing knife for this one. There you guys go. 
and it comes with a so you can see this is more for a small business Cisco small business product right so this switch should be pretty robust and if you're moving a lot of data I recommend you know spending extra money getting a better better equipment so this is a Cisco 110 series here's a quick guide and what's cool about this you can also it looks like you can rack mount this I didn't even know about that but um probably not this one this is probably too small to rack mount it, this is probably for their 24 port switch so this actually comes in a, I think a 5 port 8 port 16 and also a 24 port switch uh, 8 is enough for me but yeah it has like a bunch of specs it shows you and you can see this shows basically all the switch models for the 110 series 5 8 I'm not sure what the HP stands for and some of these actually come with a 10 gigabit uplink so it's like if you're connecting different switches together so it'll be a much faster connection and this is a temperature range and it's pretty serious stuff like 32 degrees to 122 degrees Fahrenheit that's um pretty hot yeah um that's it for the quick start let's see what else is here's a customer support don't think I ever need it but there's problems Cisco has great customer support from my experience working um, at an enterprise company at least and here is the switch as you can see it's metal which is pretty nice pretty hefty and the back has all off on and it uses a AC to DC convert, uh, adapter and there's eight ports right here and these lights indicate if it's gigabit gigabit or not and if it's actively linked and I want to say in terms of the quality it's all right I mean it's not the I want you know of course you're not paying like a thousand dollars for a regular Cisco switch but you can see some of the stuff is a little bit looks a little cheap of course for 80 bucks but um definitely not bad let's see if you guys can hope you guys can see this but you can see the you can see the vents on the side it's pretty good And let me show you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just showing you guys. Just want to make my camera is on right, good focus for you guys. And also, it comes with a security lock. I mean, not I not needed, but it's nice that they have it again. This one does not have rack mounting capability. Again, just designed for a small business, but the cool thing is you can actually use it. You can mount it on a wall or something if you wanted to, like upside down, which is nice. Um, I'm probably just gonna put it on top of one of the Synalgies or on top of a, a cabinet for now. So there it is, that's the switch and Let's see, that's nice of them. They include some uh, mounting, mounting, uh, mounting parts, a screw and everything. And again, just a simple 12 volt adapter, a very generic one. But yeah, guys, that's, um, this is the switch. And you know, let me plug it in and I'll show you guys how it looks like. Alright guys, I got the Cisco switch all set up on my network. Basically, I'm using uh, 6 out of the 8 ports. This one is going to the router. And, I mean, actually it's going to the switch slash router, the main one. And then, I got my Mac connected at the last port. And then, these 4 other cables 
let's see if I can focus, is all going to the Synology. So I got my 1019, my DS1019 Plus here, and I got my DS918 Plus here. And both of these Synologies are using link aggregation. So uh, it doesn't double the bandwidth or anything, but it just, you know, if multiple people or have multiple computers accessing uh, these Synologies, it should do a better load balancing. And um, basically all these are, I think these are just Cat 5e cables, which is okay for right now. I'll probably upgrade these to Cat 7 cables later on. And uh, let's see. And I got Cat 7 going to the computer, Cat 7 going to the router also. Anyway guys, just want to show you how it looks like right now with everything set up. Um, you can see all the lights are fully green, so we're actually getting gigabit uh, links on all these. And I know you, some of you guys might think it doesn't matter because all these analogies are running basically um, 5400 RPM uh, Western Digital red drives right now. But um, it does make a difference I think because I also have SSD uh, cache on both of these guys set up. So when I'm doing, let's see, like accessing a bunch of uh, R files or video files on these, it should help that everything's connected uh, via gigabit. But um, yeah, I mean, if Synology ever does come out with a gigabit uh, version for small business, I think only the 18 series is, has a gigabit capabilities right now. I'll probably get it. I mean, sorry, 10 gigabit uh, Ethernet. I'll probably get it. But uh, right now it's just gigabit uh, connections right now for the analogies. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, here it is. Looks pretty nice. Got to do some cable management, but that's for the future. Yeah, all right, guys. I hope um, this video was helpful. If you guys are interested in buying a gigabit Ethernet switch for your home network or small business, again, this is the Cisco SG110D. Uh, dash 08 gigabit switch it's unmanaged i recommend it i'll let you guys know you know how it performs in the next few weeks months years whatever but uh yeah drop a comment below if you have any questions about this and i'll check you guys out in the next video